you know that they added thermal cultivation to the mod pack? That means we have cakes, we have wheels of cheese, and we have wine. We already had the wine, but you get the gist. Oh, and by the way, hello to you, my fellow dark ones. How are you guys doing today? How's life? Of course, the goal is not to have some empty stands, because that's just stupid. What isn't stupid is to fill them in with villagers. I really want to drop a bucket of lava. The amount of restraint that that requires, oh my goodness. Anyways, these are garbage villagers. We need to negotiate. Have fun, I go get some potions. Actually, we have to set everything to hard. Otherwise, there's a chance that some of these villagers are not going to survive this. Well, the first round is complete. Can't find my zombie. Oh, you're the zombie. Yes, zombie. Very cool. We shall cure them. Actually, from next time, we're just going to use the tablet of restoration. Everybody seems to be fine. Let's try this again. Oh, come on. I hate you. I really do. We just have to fish out the llamas. Yeah, so with the tablet of restoration, we no longer need weakness and we no longer need golden apples. The resulting villager will offer discounts as if a player was nearby. So we're good. I think everybody converted. Let's try this again. Lovely. <laughs> this is gonna be super easy. As long as the zombie does not have a line of sight, uh, he should convert everyone. Did you kill the zombie? Uh-oh. How did they kill the zombie? That is perfectly fine. We can get another zombie. You look fancy. Maybe the tablet shouldn't run all the time. Oh uh, yeah, because it harms the undead. Uh, I find this quite funny. Just look at the journey map and see how fast the virus is spreading. That was really cool. And also ignore the ones which are flying around, those are vengeance spirits from Evilcraft. Also, I'm very happy I took the lapis guy because it's easy to find him. Oh, and by the way, this is the 11th time. According to the wiki, you only have to do this five times to get the full discount and it will be permanent. I just wanted to make sure. Also, it's so nice. We have Fanda and Linda here. Maybe we should color them. Green, red or purple. I'm sorry, guys. The color is not up for discussions. Lovely. While everything is being done, let me try to see what kind of a villager I want. Okay, so we have our first garbage villager. He has nothing which interests me. We're just gonna set him free. <laughs> no, obviously not. I have been told that I should not disrespect villagers, so we're just gonna have a few accidents. Have fun. Yay! Oh my goodness, you punched him out. Okay, let this be a lesson to you to be a good boy. Bread isn't bad, rice is not great. I want cakes. Well, if I change you to a master, you're still going to be useless, right? Yep. Enjoy the meal and don't play with your food. The problem is that I think cakes are a tier 3 trade, so I wouldn't know if I have to cycle them or not. You're gonna be redundant, I know that. Yep. Well, since I was not having luck with farmers, we're going with wizards. You just need an arcane core, and the trades that this guy is offering is great. You get sorceries, sorcery pie, and also different shards. You're a good boy. Actually, I shouldn't lose him. So the mod pack has gone through an update and unfortunately we can place down source berry pies. That's not very good because I cannot use it in order to generate source because if you want to put it on a pedestal, it's just gonna place it, I think. Yeah, <laughs> that's the problem. But we can use the source rolls and maybe with this we can automate cake and Morris. I'm not sure. Also, you have to place it down to eat it. <laughs> This is because of a mod called Delightful. I don't know why it does that. As you guys probably remember, we do have the Easy Villagers mod in this mod pack, meaning that we can put the villager inside the trader and, you know, trade with them. The good part of it is, there is also something called an Auto Trader, meaning if I put the wizards inside, I can select what kind of an item I want. That's cool. <laughs> that is what we are going to do anyways. Maybe two of them for rolls and two of them for cakes, but we first have to check if Cake and Morris is going to work with them. With the berries, the source berry pie, this one. And if I'm not wrong, we need the elven portal? Uh oh, there's no cheaty way. Yeah, so we don't have any terror still, which is perfect. But that is perfectly fine because we do have a decent supply of mana. That's not how you make terror still. Oh, do you know why? I vein mined some living rock here and we're missing one here. Yep, that was kind of my fault. It does take ages with one mana pool. But it's okay, we have it. So two mana pylons, two natural pylons, like so. We were missing the eye of the ender, but like so. This is a gateway. And I don't really have a botania area, so for the moment we're just gonna set it up over here. I have been saving up some mana tablets, let's use them. And where is my wand? Yes. Can I open you? 
Lovely. Oh, and yes, since the update, they have added a Botania quest line, so I'm getting achievements and quests. But I have done all of this just to get one pixie dust. Come on. Thank you. Uh, maybe we should get more. And everything is also set. So let me make a cake of Morris. If we put our little friend over here, are you going to eat the cake? No. Delightful? You're useless. But it's fine. I will get a cake. Somehow. Yeah, a farmer tier 4 should give you a cake. But just out of curiosity, do you accept chocolate cake? No. Oh. What? He ate it. Maybe it takes time. No, it's not eating the source berry pie. Would have been awesome. Literally, our next farmer gives us a cake. Good boy. Shouldn't punch you. Also, the next one. Lovely. Maybe we should have more. I mean, I'm having good luck, so why the hell not? Uh, also, this compost bin belongs to someone in my backpack, so we have to break it and replace it. We go with the ones who sell bread. They seem to have a better chance. Give me the cake. No, deal with him. Holy. Come back. After arranging accidents for maybe around 10 villagers, we have four villagers who are going to sell us cakes. Now we're moving on to pneumatic craft. Hopefully we get PCBs. Well, he's selling us drones, transistors, so I guess he's going to be useful. Mm, but no PCBs. It's fine, we try someone else. Yes, <laughs> finished PCB. Lovely. So I guess we don't need the other guy. Have fun. Also, the pool of talent that we have is dwindling. Maybe I should have gotten the villagers first and then zombified them. This feels like a huge waste. Also, if he's not taking a job, that means, yeah, you're alive. I like compressed iron. I like capacitors, not transistors. Rockets are nice. I'll keep him. So we're good with pneumatic craft and I just realized we didn't have to kill the villagers. There is a villagers tools mod and we can just reset them. But I don't really feel that bad. So who cares? Oh my goodness. I bought too many. Uh, the bee people are not that useful. They do sell you the nest, but it does come with bees. Maybe we keep one. We are going to set up a villager trading hall in the near future, but for the moment, we have our farmers who are making us cake. That cake goes into a dimensional chest, and for the moment, it comes to our Botania area, which I also added a cake Morris. Uh, I also added a few more mana pools. This one has a recessive augment. This one has a dominant augment, meaning that if I want to fill in my band or upgrade my pickaxe, uh, I can do it in this mana pool, and the rest of them are just buffers. However, I received a very important comment, which has me scared. Greg Tech. Well, it is true that we can substitute most of the processes in Greg Tech with other mods, but we still have to do Greg Tech. It doesn't have to do anything with the older mod star, except maybe the Star Forge itself. But there is also a Greg Star, which does not require an older mod star. Huh. Gives you a plunger. Basically, what it does is that it's going to give you a micro universe orb, which will mine ores for you. Anyways, the gist of the matter is we need to do a bit of Greg Tech. I'm scared. If we want to be able to move on to the low voltage age, what we need to do is to get some steel, which we already have. The other thing that we need is going to be an electronic circuit. So this is our goal. Uh, the one from the LV age is called basic electronic circuit. And thankfully, there is a tooltip which tells you that this is your first LV circuit. That's actually very useful. You don't have to look for everything. But we do have to start from steam age and work our way upwards. Uh, well, we do need boilers, which means I do need to have a lot of bronze. We also need to make a lot of metals. We can use Greg Tech, but there are alternatives. Yeah, exactly. Well, actually, the cheapest one at this very moment is going to be Ad Astro. So you, my dearest friend, you make me plates. You're slow. Holy. No wonder you're the cheapest. But in any case, we also need to get the appropriate tools. So here are, I guess, a few hammers, two files. And let us see if we can get some boilers. I forgot about the most important thing, wrenches. So instead of low pressure steam boiler, we can go to high pressure. Why not? I guess for the quest to count, we also need to have a low pressure one. Maybe, maybe not. And we do need to have some fluid pipes, which is uh, pretty expensive. Crystal plates gives you one. Uh -oh. Why can't you work faster? <laughs> You're a jerk. Anyways, you guys already know the drill. We have to start very garbage because we have to keep upgrading the machines. We do have a decent flat area over here, and we're going to use that. And I never have a sink. This biome is considered a savanna, so it never rains. Um, I think we should be fine, just in case machines explode in case of rain. But here is some water in the boilers. We can make it go a bit faster. And I'm not sure how the piping system is going to work. Okay, they don't connect. So we have to use a wrench. Cool. We know how it works. How do you break this? With a pick. The first item that we're going to need to make is going to be rubber. So that means we need to have an alloy smelter. You go over there. You're not going to explode, are you? Also, this is not outputting. I'm an idiot. 
I forgot the coal. But yeah. <laughs> How would I know if I'm getting steam? This is 300 Kelvin. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. While the boiler is heating up, uh, let us get some rubber. We need to make rubber ingot, and that is a combination of rubber pulp and sulfur. And the pulp comes from an extractor. Amazing. Crafting is going to be fun until we get assemblers. And I'll be very happy if you connect. And yes, we're getting steam. Lovely. So there is something called sticky resin, which you would get it from the rubber trees from Greg Tech, And thankfully, it also comes from slime balls. And since we had a ton of slime balls, well, we have a ton of resin. You give me the pulp. Oh, you're slow. <laughs> My goodness. Does it burn you? No, it's easy Greg Tech then. Yeah, outside this biome, it's raining. There's actually a thunderstorm. I kind of forgot that you need to have the vent on the top using your wrench. Otherwise, the machine is just going to stop working. Yeah, you just heard it. The question is, oh my goodness, we don't have sulfur. Yay, first rubber. <laughs> we need millions. Remember, we are doing all of this just to be able to make some cables. But here is an empty mold and we need to convert it into the plate. So there you go. I just made an extra alloy smelter. Here is the vent. Here is some steam. The mold goes in and we can make rubber plates. You have no idea how much we need. How do you make rubber pulps? I mean, like a bit cheaper. <laughs> well, for the moment, this seems to be the only way. It's going to be slow. The good thing about Greg Tech in this mod pack is that it's very cheap to make pipes and hoppers. So automating is going to be very easy. Besides, we already have refined storage. So our rubber production is suffering because the extractor is incredibly garbage. Look at the speed. So the question would be, how do we make a better extractor? Wrought iron. Yeah, for the moment, we don't really have the capacity to make wrought iron directly. So we need to make iron nuggets. We need to cook them like so. And then we get the nuggets, which we can convert into ingots. Like so. So that should be the plate. Just out of curiosity, do the machines break? No. Cool. Tin alloy. What is a tin alloy? Oh boy. Welcome to the rabbit hole, which is called Greg Tech. It's a combination of tin and iron. That's it. I think one of the next things that we have to invest in is going to be an extruder so that we can make pipes because this one is taking ages. So after a bunch of crafting, we have a high pressure steam extractor. This should be faster, I guess. It's not great, but it's also not that bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is way better. Just in case you're wondering, that is the rubber we need in order to make the wires for the circuit, but now we need to make the actual circuit. We need another mold for balls. Then we need to get some vacuum tubes, and for that we're going to need some glass dust. I just crushed glass, it's easier, I guess. And since you're not very busy, make me some vacuum tubes. I'm not even going to bother setting up patterns for these guys, because uh, at this very moment it doesn't make any sense. Later on we will have better machines, so we would be able to automate them. Yay! Glass tube! We're doing amazing progress. I know. I noticed that making glass tubes is taking too long, so I added one more high pressure steam alloy smelter. You know, the improved version. The problem is that even though I made an extra boiler, we're not keeping up with the steam. Don't really know why. Well, long story short, now we have five boilers. Another problem that I have is that we have no more sulfur. <laughs> Even though they add a thermal expansion to the pack, I cannot find any thermal series ores. At least in the chunks that I have generated. Our miners are also not producing it, so I guess for the moment we just have to find it. Oh, that one. Well, we have fortune bajillion, so that's good enough. But very cool. We have our glass tubes. And I do need to have a lot of steel. And I'm really trying not to cheat with mechanism. It's not cheating, but you know. We need to have a few saws because we need to make bolts. Thankfully, there is a cheaty recipe to get steel rods. Two ingots gives you four, otherwise you just get the one. But you shall be cut. Oh, I was making scaffolding, this is why we had some. I <laughs> hate making these things. So what do I need to do is to make a wire cutter. That means I need to make some iron screws. The wire cutter itself does require a screwdriver, which is hammer and file. Yes, we get two. So it's file, screwdriver and the hammer. Yes, <laughs> finally. That should give us some copper wires. Perfect. You know, I did all of that just to be able to make some vacuum tubes. Like so. Oh, I forgot the rest. It's fine. That is half a stack of vacuum tubes. That should give us 16 electronic circuits. That's garbage. I make more. Okay, I made one stack of vacuum tubes. Now we need to move on. We need to make something called red alloy, which is a combination of copper and redstone. Like so. We need the wires in order to make the electronic circuit. We already have the vacuum tubes. We will have the steel plates. But now we need the basic circuit board, which means I need a few machines, I guess. Well, I guess for the moment, let us get a garbage macerator. And I do need to have a compressor. So there you go. And of course, we are going to be very fancy. You stay there. Oops. Ouch. 
actually, uh, you need connection, you need a connection, macerator goes on top, we give you the vent, now the compressor, also the vent. And what we want to do is that we want to be able to break down the wood into pulp and then pipe it into the compressor. Exactly. That is going to give us the wood plate from Greg Tech, which we can use it in order to make the resin circuit board and make circuits. There you go. I'm still making some resources and then I figured out something very important. I, basically what I want to do is to get better tools. Iron tools are garbage. If you guys remember, our miners used to give us some barrier blocks. Right now I think I'm voiding them or they removed it from the miners. But in the past I saw a recipe and I started smelting them and I got some tungsten. You see? Tungsten ingot. The problem is that if you want to upgrade your tools to tungsten, you either need to go with tungsten carbide or tungsten steel. Which is really not gonna happen, at least for the foreseeable future. But I did notice there are diamond tools. I don't really have that many diamonds, but we can use them. You shall make me diamond plates. You shall make me diamond rods. Maybe more. And I'll go upgrade my tools. I have made diamond tools and the best part of it is you can also enchant them. So I'm making some unbreaking and I have purchased some mending. So mending, unbreaking, the other way is cheaper, a bit. And that goes on the tool. So at least now I don't have to change my tools every 5 seconds. Wasn't it genius Linda of Darkness? Of course. Thank you. I need to compliment myself from time to time. Although I would assume that Eterno Stella would have been lovelier, but uh, I haven't made it yet. Maybe we should. At least let us get into low voltage age. So another thing that we need is a bunch of coal dust. Maybe a bit more. Because now it is time to make resistors. Aha. Oh, this is way better. But I do have to repair them. Anywho. Some resistors, some circuit boards, oops, the rest of them are in the machine, don't you worry. That should give us the actual circuit board, which is 132. Lovely. I made some red alloy wires, some rubber sheets, so we can have our cables. And I guess this is our circuit board. <laughs> Finally. Just the one. Oh, I have them in my inventory. And we're out of steel plates. I guess I'm out of steel. Don't you worry, I have been cooking some... My goodness. Well, I have my circuit board. I don't care anymore. Actually, I do. We want to get into LVH. That's it. But you guys already know the drill. We need some motors, we need some pistons, and we need some arms. So that we can make actual LV machines. So let me try to make a few of them and I'll be right back. I need tin cable too. <laughs> Why? Well, at least I can repair my tools. Come on. Amazing. I'll be right back. Actually, I was just checking the quest line and it seems if we get 32 basic circuits, they're going to give us LV machine holes and more circuits. That's going to save on a ton of steel, and we can make that. It's a good thing I went for half a stack. There you go. Yay! Chapter complete. Give me the garbage. Thank you. That is actually the first chapter I completed. Minus these guys. It's fine. Let's move to low voltage. I have made a few gadgets, I gathered a bit of resources, and we want to start making our lives a bit easier in Greg Tech. Thankfully, we don't need to generate any sort of power. There is a converter. It comes in 1 amps up to 16 amps. Let's go with 16 amps. <laughs> Why the hell? Oh, that's expensive. We go with 8. It's a teeny tiny bit cheaper. <laughs> the only thing that it means is that it can power 8 machines at the same time. So, it's good. That is 8 times tin wire, so that's 8 amps. We cover it with rubber. And I'm actually out of red alloy. And yeah, I was also out of sulfur, so I had to go and mine a bit. Just a bit. If I have not messed up anything, that should be our energy converter. Perfect. Oh, we need a soft mallet. You can make it out of rubber, right? Oh, you need the rubber bars. Well, there is a wooden one. We take that one. So from now on, we don't really need to have steam. We just need this. And I don't know which side is which. But this is why we have a soft mallet. Uh, so it's telling me that it's FE in and EU out. The green should be in, right? Do I have to give it exactly that much? Uh, let's try. It didn't explode. Cool. This is 8 amps. That means we have to use the 8 times tin wire. Otherwise, it's going to burn. It's not going to explode. The wire is just going to burn. So if I put you here, we're still fine. And we can have a few machines, I guess. Let's make them. I'll be honest with you. I have not missed microcrafting at all. But to make my life a bit easier, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a basic extractor, which does require a lot of things. Don't you worry. We need a pump. We need a piston, like so. And we shall have a basic extractor. Now we're going to move to a chemical reactor, which I think we can just make. Lovely. This is going to automate rubber and it's going to make my life so much easier. So for the moment, the extractor can go over there. It doesn't get connected automatically, so we have to connect it using a wire cutter. And now if we provide this guy with resin, this should be fairly fast. 
Maybe. I believe with these machines, we can ask them to auto output. So with a wrench, we just select the side, output settings. Oh, it does that automatically. Okay. So put it inside the chemical reactor then. Allow items to input from the output side. That's not the one. It's fine. I'm actually not that picky. We should be able to have a conveyor belt. We can use it as a cover and ask this guy to output. Yeah. So with the chemical reactor and the extractor, we should be able to make something called liquid rubber, which is going to be way more efficient than these. I think we just need to have a fluid solidifier and then we would be able to make all the rubber parts that we need. I have made a fluid solidifier, but we also need to have a mold. You know, if you want to make rubber sheets, you need to have the plate mold. So there you go. I also made a jumbo tank as a buffer for rubber and I guess we can have our solidifier here. And I made an extra pump. Do I need a pump? I can just do this. Pumps are expensive. So here is your plate and here is your power. Perfect. This is way cheaper. So chemical reactor is off the list. The energy converter is off the list. And I think we need a wire mill. I'm really going based on the priorities that I have. Oops. That's one of the reasons. I like the new textures. They're more vibrant. But anyways, here is a wire mill. And yeah, now one ingot is going to give us two wires. This teeny tiny little automation that we have over here saves my time a lot. We are making rubber, we are making rubber sheets, and we are making wires. Those are very expensive, trust me. Another thing which is causing me a teeny tiny bit of a problem is different gears. An extruder in the low voltage age is not gonna cut it, we need to be at medium voltage. But I can't really do anything about it because anything that we want to do is going to be medium voltage. I can use a fluid solidifier which is low voltage. But if I want to smelt the steel, it has to be medium voltage. Yeah, all of them are MV. But I guess now what we should do is to move towards an electronic blast furnace. That should solve my steel problems. Actually, it does it. Oh, you need oxygen. How do I get oxygen? I have been looking for a very long time at the recipes and then I remembered. You just need to electrolyze water. That's it. So I guess we just provide the electrolyzer with some water and you're electrolyzing. Oh my goodness. You can use oxygen for mechanism, I'm just trying to automate Greg Tech using Greg Tech. Otherwise, there's absolutely no point, you can even use the oxygen for mechanism. So after 30 seconds, you just get one bucket. That's garbage. Because I think for making steel, you need... Oh, 200 milli buckets, it's not that bad. Maybe we can have one more and just call it a day. Yeah, let's go with three of them. Down the line, we might need oxygen one more time. So, there is something called a fluid drawer, it's from functional storage. And since at this very moment we don't have a sorting system, maybe that's going to help us. Yeah, that is hydrogen. So we just lock it for hydrogen. Therefore, we can have another one for oxygen. Lovely. We lock this one too. Also, this is one amp, two, three, I guess four and a half amps. So we can't have that many more machines. It's fine. The electronic blast furnace was not going to be here anyways. But now that we have taken care of the oxygen, uh, let us move to the electronic blast furnace. We need copper nickel. I know it's going to be copper and nickel, so I just had to check. We have garbage alloy smelters, but they're going to do the job. And just in case, let us try to upgrade the drawers so that they have a bigger capacity. This is already full. How do you upgrade? Oh, I know. Uh, you need the smithing template. Minecraft just got very expensive. I'm just saying. How would I know how much it's going to hold? <laughs> I, I don't know. But it will stack up, so who cares? Somebody actually left me a comment for this and I'm very thankful, I absolutely forgot. This high pressure alloy smelter that I made was the worst decision. It never works. I mean, if you add up all the steam, that should have enough steam, but it never has enough. And besides, remember, these were off. And also this one is off, and this one. <laughs> so I don't know what's up with that, just don't make it. Another thing is that in order to make the copper nickel coils, we're of course going to need copper nickel. We're going to need bronze foils, which is fine. We need liquid tin, that is also fine, but we need the assembler. Assemblers need robot arms. More micro crafting. I'll be right back. I have made the extractor, I have made the assembler, and we're out of steel. I mean, for the moment this guy is running, I'm not sure how much steel we need in order to make the actual blast furnace. Again, I'm fully aware that this is a very garbage setup, but remember, this is low voltage. Everything has to be changed. Anyways, here is our assembler. Here is an extractor. Here is one conveyor which is the wrong one. I keep forgetting that we have pipes. So the extractor is going to smelt down tin into liquid tin. We shall extract it and put it inside the assembler. And I have been making, yeah, 512 copper nickel coils. It has to be double, right? Yeah, I'm not sure if that's enough. Four stacks, we will see. And here are some bronze foils. And the reason it's not working is that it doesn't have power. Nah, that's not the problem. Oh, you need one bucket of tin. Actually, I have no idea why it's not working. You do have power. This is bronze foil. 
And this is copper nickel wire. A liquid tin alloy. I'm an idiot. Yeah, now it's working. Perfect. We need 16 coils for one glass furnace. Lovely. We have the one. If we also come to the quest line, it's telling us what items it needs. Seems to be all the standard parts from Greg Tech. I'll try to do that. If you want to make any type of hatches from Greg Tech, you're going to need an LV machine casing. And that is a lot of steel, so in the meantime, I'm actually upgrading my Terra Shatterer. At this very moment, this is rank B, meaning that if I change the mode, it's going to just do a 3x3. We don't really have the Ring of Thor at this very moment, but if it reaches the next tier, then it's going to do a 5x5. It is good for base building, or digging in general. Oh, and by the way, these are manatite bellows, it increases the transfer of mana. And we're out. <laughs> okay. It's still rank B. I don't know how many mana pools it needs. But I do need a ton of steel, and yeah, maybe a hundred. I have made the input hatch, output bus, input bus, and the muffler hatch. And we have the heatproof inver machine casing, and our coils should also be ready. Oh, that gives you half a stack. That's nice. But now we need to start making the energy hatch. The energy hatch requires a coil, and well, this is the recipe. It does need to have a circuit, and I don't know which is circuit number one. How do you make the circuit? Well, there was a quest. Oh, you just put it in and select. So if I put the circuit in... Oh, I can change it here. Okay. Circuit number one. Oh, you don't need to make the circuit. Oops. Can I convert it back? No. Well, it's fine. We will have our coil. And by the way, this was steel. One LV energy hatch. Since we need to overclock it, two of them. I think the only thing remaining is the actual electronic blast furnace controller. This guy over here. That was easy. <laughs> okay. So for the moment, where do we want to set it up? I guess since our power system is here, we might as well do it here. I got tomatoes. How? Anyways, that doesn't really matter. We're going to have our energy hatches over here. I forgot the maintenance hatch, which is fine. If I remember things correctly, electronic blast furnace controller goes over there. The rest of it has to be covered by the heat proof machine casing. Then we need two rows of coils, hollow in the middle. So input hatch, input bus, and output bus. One more layer of heat proof inver machine casing on top, and one muffler hatch. Are you facing the correct way? I think you are. Let me try to get the maintenance hatch. Oh my goodness. How do you make a crowbar? <laughs> it's actually not that bad. Don't you worry. Here is a crowbar. So it's just a machine hall with all the tools. Would be funny if I have missed a tool. No. This should be our electronic blast furnace. Are you complete? Yes. I have observed it. And yes, since we are providing it with 4 amps of low voltage, it's now MV. Maybe I need one of these converters. We just need 4 amps, right? Yeah. I think I have everything we need. I removed the ender cell just in case. Here is a 4 amp converter. We hit it with a soft mallet and then we put the ender cell back. Okay, we're good. These are the 4 times tin cables. Let us connect them all together and hope that it doesn't explode. And if I have not messed it up, this should be our oxygen. Yes. We just pump it into the input hatch. But it does require maintenance, no? Don't you require maintenance? I don't know, we just do it with every single tool that we have. Actually, it doesn't say that it has a problem. And you can also make some sort of a tape. Ooh. No. Polyethylene. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Uh, let us get some iron. We put it inside the input bus. Ooh. I love that. And for some reason, it's working. How long does it take? 25 seconds. That's not bad. We finally have steel. I forgot you also get ash. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a while later and I thought maybe we should improve the graveyard. It's going to be a very busy one, so why not? So this row that you see over here are the old graves, plus these two over here, and I really want to start making a few more graves because I don't want to make a promise and not deliver. Because last episode I actually did mention that we are going to have a lot of graves. However, you might notice that I have been killing zombies for a while and we have 5 essence of the undead. I'm not saying it's garbage, but it's pretty much garbage. But I didn't say that. So I have been thinking, how do we improve the spawn rates? Well, we can have a maximum of 16 entities at a given time, and I kill all of them with one blow. The problem is, this guy is not spawning them fast enough. Look. It's fully updated. I'm not even cutting. That's the one. <laughs> okay, it's not that bad. It's actually slightly better. Anyways, I was thinking, we go find more spawners and just add more spawners. Come on. Cast it. Thank you. This is my life before night vision.
Look at the torches. And thank you so much for giving me a tip on how to remove hardcore darkness. You're alone in the cave. Don't you know it's dangerous? Let's get some spawners. Two is good. That should be another one. It's a random block. My pick broke. That was the only silk touch pick I had. It's fine. We have what we need. We can go home. Also, what's in you? I don't like you anyways. Well, I have upgraded all the new spawners and the rates are actually pretty crazy. Just wait. Again, the one. <laughs> yeah, it's warming up. This is much better. However, I just wanted to mention something. Let me kill these guys. They're loud. The point that I wanted to mention is that a few episodes ago, somebody mentioned that if you want to get high stat spawners, you should go to the Iron Spells mod thingy. And in there, you would be able to find good monster spawners. I found these in caves and most of them were almost fully upgraded. I had less than one stack of unobtainium ingots on me and well, look at them. Everything is fully updated. I could be wrong, but I think spawners are just random. And yes, I just realized uh, we need some gas tears. Yes, much better. We try this again. Oh, this is way better. This time we got like four. Awesome. I'm a genius. Efficiency at its finest. No essence of the undead. Nobody said it's going to be easy, so it can take some time. Well, it's not amazing, but we have 10 over here. And, wow, six on me. I thought it was five. But today we shall have 15 more graves. Also, do we have experience here? Yeah. Ouch. 200 levels. You know, the tank got full, so... Yeah, it happens. You know, sometimes I should repair my tools. Also, since this situation is actually going well, next episode we're going to try and make a farm for the gems. I mean, why not? Let's try to get it over with. Can't be that hard. This time, since we have too many graves, uh, let me place down the graves, uh, then we're going to make the tablets. Well, it took a while. Unfortunately, I could not make every single grave, but these are the ones that we have. We have Chaos, who requested a skull, and I'm wearing it. So there you go. We have Baron Mr. Woodcheck. Amazing name. And I didn't even come up with that. We have Godslayer. We have Engraved Plate. No. We have Legolas. We have Lord Precise. Then, obviously, we have the Immortal Wolf. Oh, we're out. We have to come this side. We have Darkness, Clicker Tailless. I added the Ness. We have Washkree, Knuffing, Derper the Pro, and we have Lao. Ooh, I made a teeny tiny boo boo. <laughs> we only have two graves left. So we have Muhammad Atasoy and Duke Erkol Games. And I need two more graves. And we have no essence. I'll be right back. I did manage to get three essence of the undead, so we will have one more. Also, just in case you're wondering how rare this thing is, I have killed 3528 zombies. It's a bit. But I have just realized I made a teeny tiny boo-boo with Lao's grave. Where are you? He wanted to be buried with applied energistics. So here is my controller. Have fun. Also, I had another request with an item frame. They have to be elevated a bit. Here is an iron sword. Here is the grave, which belongs to Fel. I might have to move these ones. But anyways, we have Sir Tony the Handsome. Somebody got a soul. And we have Bocage. I just remembered, we need some ancient knights. Because totally and accidentally, I did not kill Raven the Knight. And Marcus Lycan wanted to be another guardian. Come on, stop moving. I'm out. Anyways, with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.